All right, guys, welcome to subjectmoney.com. We're going to do here is a tutorial on the if function used in Microsoft Excel 2010. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so basically, what we, uh, what the if function is, it's a logical test. Um, it's saying, like, if this argument is true, then this is the case. If it's false, then this over here is the case. And it's, it's basically as, sim as simple as that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is we're going to use a uh, sales and bonus example. So right here we have John Sales, and um, he gets a bonus if he reaches a hurdle of $10,000, and his bonus here is $900, or we can say $500, whatever the case may be. It's just an example. Okay, so um, right here is where we're going to enter our function in this cell. It's basically saying, you know, say we run a company and we've, we're going to refer to this, um, you know, payroll, the payroll is going to refer to this uh, spreadsheet to know whether or not to cut John a check for a bonus. Okay, so basically the argument is just equals if. So that is the if, then the logical test function for Microsoft Excel. Equal sign if, and then in parentheses, you can see right here, it says logical test. So the first uh, value we're going to enter is if sales are right here, if sales are greater than or equal to the bonus hurdle of 10,000. Okay, so that's our argument, parentheses. Then the value in this cell for the bonus will, will be equivalent to the bonus amount. If that argument is false, if it's not true, then the bonus will be zero. Okay, and as you can see, 11,000 is greater than 10,000 so the bonus is $500 okay now let's say let's go over here and change this because everything here we're referring to a uh, cell so as you can see the bonus changes with whatever the bonus amount is over here okay now what happens if let's say the hurdle was 12,000 well now you can see John doesn't get a bonus but now he changed this to 13,000 and he does or we change it to 12,000, which is equal to, and he still gets it. Okay, so now let's move this down. And what we're going to do here is we're going to, instead of having a number, we're going to do the if function, but with a um, with text. So, uh, okay, so John sells are 9,000, and the bonus hurdle is 8,000. If he sells more equal to or more than $8,000, his bonus is $500, except for instead of us... Uh, since there's just a blanket bonus of five hundred dollars, you know, there's no uh, progressive scale. Uh, um, we don't need to know how much to pay. So anyway, equals if, just like before, if sales are greater than or equal to the bonus hurdle, and that's our argument. And then we do parentheses, or not parentheses, comma. Then the value is yes he gets a bonus and if not no he does not get a bonus and as you can see look right here um, for text and this argument and this function the text are in um, parentheses you can you cannot do text without putting them in parentheses or else it's going to give you an error okay so you can see his sales are greater than Sales of 9,000 are greater than the hurdle of 8,000. So, yes, he's getting a bonus. Um, now, another way to do this, say you want to do text, um, and we already know the bonus. Um, we could just say, we can kind of do it the way we did before. Um, if, you know, our argument, if the sales are greater than the hurdle, then it'll be equal to cell B11. If not, it'll be equal to, like, you know, I'm kind of just experimenting right here. Uh, cell B12. Now, right now, we have numbers, but now let's say we want to do text. There's another way to do it. But obviously, the other way is easier. But uh, yes and no. Okay. So now, watch this. Jump that up to 10,000. No. Because it's referring to these cells. So I guess that's kind of a little bit of a the functions, you know, if you refer to cells, um, a little bit of a refresher. 
All right, now let's move to the next uh, example. Um, we're gonna, now this is a little bit more, probably some easier ways to do this. Sorry about the noise, I'm outside, so you probably hear a truck driving by in the background. But uh, it's quieter out here than it is inside, trust me. Okay. I'll wait for this truck to go by. <clears throat> All right, so uh, in this example, we have multiple hurdles. It's basically a progressive uh, scale. You know, if you um, sell more than, you know, more than 50,000, that first hurdle, you're going to get 1% of your sales. But let's say you break the next hurdle of 60,000, then you get 1.5. If you break the next hurdle of 70,000, you're going to get 2% of your sales is commission. And it just keeps going on. This is just that little carrot in front of you to carrot in front of your uh, face to keep you uh, chasing more sales, making more money. So our, as you can see, I already have the function in here, but um, basically I'm dragging all of these down because we're going to drag the formula that I enter in. We're going to drag that function for each cell so it can refer to each one of these. I could probably do it in one, but it would just be a very long, complicated um, function. So, All right, so what we're going to do here is the logical test. If sales are greater than or equal to the first hurdle. That's our first argument. Now we do comma. Now we're doing a second if function in the true value, the value of true. We're going to do another if function if, and this is how we're covering a range. If sales are less than 60,000. So right there, this is telling us if they're less than 60,000, that's the second argument, then the value will be sales times this range, the first uh, commission, if not zero. And then we just do the other zero. And now, finally, sales have to be locked in. So I'm hitting F4, I'm highlighting this and hitting F4. That's locking that cell because we're going to drag this uh, formula down. So we have to, the rest of these are going to um, be dragged down relative, you know, the same function, just each step is going to drag each uh, cell down except for sales. We want that locked in. All right. So we're going to go ahead and drag this down all the way down to this one. And as you can see, it showed up as uh, 4000 $4,040. So that's because we're at $101,000. We're in this 4%. So 4% um, of $101,000 is $4,040. All right. Let's say we did, uh, you know, $63,000. All right. We jump up in here. We're in this range, the above 60. So uh, this is our commission. Okay. Let's just say we're at $79,008. Hundred, our sales. We're in this uh, this category, so you know you can see it just drops them down to where they need to go. Okay, now for this last row, because uh, this is our you know say we max it out, we get the max commission. Uh, this company won't pay more than four and a half percent after the max. Then we just go ahead and we do a different one. It's not going to be the same. It's going to be uh, much simpler than the rest. If sales are greater than or equal to $110,000, then commission is going to be sales times the rate, if not zero. All right. Okay, now watch what happens. $111,000. And there. So 4.5% of $111,000 is $4,995, and that would be your commission for the month or week or day if you have a very good job. All right, so these are three examples uh, just showing you how to use it. And um, on, on this example right here, I mean, you're going to have to play with it just to kind of, you know, get to where you understand it. Um, but again, you know, just make sure right here you can see that everything's referred to 53 Everything's referred to right there. You can see I changed it, and, you know, this amount changed 9%. Okay. And um, yeah, and the same thing would happen here if I made that 120000 
now this is a different range. 